if we lose the fight in the congressional reconciliation legislation, will accredited investors have to stop investing in real estate funds like yours? Well, <clears throat> based on this question, the way it's asked, the answer is no, because the legislation only affects IRA investments. So if you're an accredited investor and you're using uh, cash, it's not going to affect you at all. You can still continue to do that. Um, this bill has to do with uh, IRA investments only. And they part of this, they do not want uh, IRA investors to invest in anything where they have to be certified or accredited uh, or uh, ownership, small ownerships in businesses because uh, you can, it's not just about the accredited investors. Uh, they're not going to allow you to have more than 10% ownership in a business period. Cause you could take your IRA and you can invest it in a business. As long as you're not, uh, as long as you have no management capabilities or responsibilities within the company, you can't invest in the company. Um, that said, uh, even if you're not accredited, they're not going to allow you to invest in a company um, and have more than 10% uh, invested in that company. So it's, again, the legislation only um, deals with IRA investors. And it we've got till probably October 30th before we know for sure whether that's going to go through or not in uh, this particular session. Uh, and it doesn't look like it's going to happen, but you know what? They've got IRAs on their radar. And I think we said this in previous shows, uh, make sure you contact your uh, Congress people, let them know, keep your hands off our IRAs. Uh, once they have it on the radar, it's there for a reason. It's on the radar for a reason. And, and I'm, it, bothers me that it's on there at all. Um, now, let's assume you were talking about IRA investments. There's there's other ways to do it. Um, funds like ours, we can, we can pivot. It'll cost us money, uh, but we can always pivot to a, um, it's called a regulation A plus fund. It's it's more costly and that, that's the downside. If we all have to convert or start a regulation A fund or a regulation A plus fund, it's going to cost all of us a lot more money to do so, which means your returns are going to be less because the cost of administrate administration in those types of funds are a lot higher. There's a lot more reporting. There's a, you have to pay a lot higher legal fees and you're, fund administrator is going to charge a lot more. Um, but the good news is you can take non-accredited investors and you can take investments as low as, you know, a thousand dollars if you want. Um, most fund managers in small balance uh, real estate do not like to get into those types of funds because uh, obviously it's much harder to manage. And what they're looking for is to manage the real estate project, not spending uh, as much time, um, managing the fund itself. And that's what you want. I mean, you want competent, uh, fund managers, don't get me wrong. And, and they're paying attention to the fund, but the most important part of the fund is what the fund is invested in. And that's where they need to spend the vast majority of their time is, uh, evaluating the deals, uh, that you are going to be investing in. And if it now becomes, uh, uh, I, I like to call it mental gymnastics <laughs> to, to get in a fund that allows you to get in there with your IRA. Uh, it's, it's not doing anything but costing everybody more money, more headaches, uh, but it can be done. So all is not lost. Uh, if this goes through, it's, we're just going to have to make changes. And it, as what happens with uh, most legislation, they always leave things open for people to work around. But I find it saddening that uh, we have to go through all these mental gymnastics to figure out how to do what we've always done. They just throw more roadblocks in front of you. Um, that's 
another thing I love about government. <laughs> They're so efficient. 